So today, uh, after looking at the petrophysical and reservoir characterization of limestone, let us look at the paleontology of this limestone. If you see this fallen block, uh, it contains variation of fossils right from the base to the top. What you see at the base is an erosive surface followed by lot of crushed bivalves which are flattened and then in the middle part you don't have much fossils. But suddenly in the top you have huge collections of shell bed. This is a classical shell bed section what you can see. If you look at the faunal content in the shell bed what you find is there are several gastropods followed by coral I am pointing my finger here you have lot of sponges then you have bivalves you have bivalves which are uh, one into another so you have two I mean uh, the valves which are still intact and valves which are broken also then here if you come down you have lot of good bryozoan colony this this is a very unique bryozoan colony and it also is associated with sponge so what we can infer from this is that there was a stormy or high energy condition during the deposition of this but looking at the still intact nature of the ornaments of the fossil we can say the energy level was uh, slightly reduced it was a kind of winnowing where storm winnowed the clay and then the shell was accumulated and there was a lag